Hey, welcome back graduates. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to get more information on your product pages. Now there could be a number of reasons why you need to collect more information. I'm not talking about data for you know analytics tracking, but you can actually use this, this strategy to collect analytical data, but that's another video. This is more or less if you're selling custom jewelry or you know you, you need somebody to enter their name for the engraving or maybe it's for a you know a gift and you need to add a gift message. Now I know you can use the notes part of most cart uh, carts on themes, but this is allows you to get it right on the product page and it, and it adds right to the uh, the cart. And I'll demonstrate that right now. So right here, you can see this is Dawn theme by the way. So this theme will be for Dawn theme if you wanna use the code. Um, if you're gonna take the code that I provide you and put in a different theme, you will have to adapt it to the theme styling because some input boxes don't look as pretty on other themes. Um, I just went ahead and um, took the, classes that you know the search has and i just use those classes um if you guys want a more in-depth video on how to you know stylize these input boxes uh to a theme let me know in the comments below and we'll make the video so right now i'm just gonna put you know glenn and i'll just put some testing stuff for the video and then once you click add the cart now you're gonna see something happen on dawn theme this is actually uh the video after this one we're gonna teach you how to add a slide out cart to your theme this is not a dawn cart this is a custom cart that we created no this will not be free but it'll be very affordable and you'll be able to follow the tutorial and add it to your store um, but this is a slide out cart now as you can see name glenn and then something else testing stuff for the video there you go so that's that's even more data and that'll show up on the orders but i'm going to refresh this page because now it's gone and we'll go delete this and again, this tutorial is coming. Uh, a lot of people are asking how to add slide out carts, and this is gonna be kind of a cool ongoing project. We're gonna add more features to it. You'll get update packs, that sort of thing. But anyways, let's get right to it. So as always, what you wanna do is you wanna go into your theme. You'll be on the home, click on online store. Then you wanna go to edit code for the theme that you wanna add the line item. And these are called line item properties. And I'll even show you a really uh, cool tool, tool that was actually created by Shopify. So what you need to do is you need to go and find your product template. And again, this is Dawn theme. So we're going to click on product JSON right here. And um, then what we're going to do is if you see the first section is main product, that's the file you need to find main hyphen product. So we're, and we know it's a section because it's called sections and the type is main hyphen product. So now we're going to go to sections and we're going to look for main hyphen product. There it is main hyphen product. Now, line item properties always have to be within the form. Um, so whenever you're submitting data on a page, typically it's in a form and you'll see tags um, you know, that say form. And I can show you that right now. Oh, wrong, wrong page. So I will click on here. I'll bring over my, my uh, developer window here. And you see how it says form? You want everything to be underneath, like below this. Um, these are all validators. They're hidden. You don't see them usually. And so what helps Shopify understand what you're trying to add to cart. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do control F and we're just typing form. Now you can do it a few ways. Now we can do it this way, which is just plain HTML, but there is no HTML uh, form here. Now we, and I believe we can do form. Whoops. Form. No, we can't. Form. Okay, I'm completely wrong here. I look like an idiot. So let's just keep hitting enter until we find our form. And now we see form product. This is a different form. Hmm. Well, I know where it is. I'm trying to show you how to find it. My goal is to try to teach you and help you understand what it is that, you, that I'm doing in these videos, but it doesn't always work. So here's the main form. This is the main form. So they're using a, they're, they're eliminating white space. That's why I couldn't find it. Um, you know, so the reason why I couldn't find it was they're doing this, which helps eliminate any, any white space. So this is the one that we want. And we know this because these, this is the hidden field that we found. And then if you notice here, we have the uh, product form submit button. And we'll, we'll just kind of compare and contrast these right here, right? So we've got the product form underscore buttons and product form underscore buttons. And then right there is the button type equals submit, button type equals submit. So we know we're in the right area. We want it to be uh, probably above the add to cart here, most likely. That's the typically where people put it. I can give you a good example of another client of ours where we did a uh, we did a simple line item property for them. 
and as well as a customization. So these are all line item properties right here. Um, you know, and they're above the add to cart, but they're also above the quantity selected. But I think in this case, we're going to put it up just above the carts, make it easier. Now I already have the code ready. Um, I'll include this as well. You just want to highlight everything and we're just going to paste this in. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to where I was and we'll put it right above that one. And let's just clean this up for, for fun. All right. Now the way I handle this code, is I wanted you to be able to add as many line item properties as you need. And the way I handle it is I'd handle it through tags. So we're, I'm gonna show you that, pro that product. And if you noticed, I did input colon here, initials, input colon name. And that's why you have, well, you don't have it right now until I save it and you'll see why. So what I'm doing is I'm saying for every tag that's in the product.tags, and if the tag contains input colon, we're gonna assign the property to equal that tag name, but we're also going to remove input colon. And then every item will have the property because we're assigning property equals the tag, but we're removing this, this, uh, this, this, what we're searching for. That way it doesn't show up input colon, you know, name. You don't want it to show up on there. And then everything that, that anything you put inside of that tag will show up on the order. Um, so let's just hit save. We'll do a refresh and name something else there you go so now let's go back to the product and let's just let's remove uh well this is the wrong product i'm just all over the place today guys we'll do uh and we'll refresh this and there you go something else and this does go in order because it's, it's a for loop so it's going in order of, of how you enter them so you see how this is this this is technically the last one because i added this last i added name first so what i'll do is i'll do input and I'll do one. So we're going to add that. That should show up first. Let's hit save. And we'll refresh. Oh, Shopify, of course, takes forever. So we might need to just refresh a few times because uh, voice over on Chrome, voice over off. I don't know why that keeps doing that. I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're just going to go back, wait for this to update. There we go. So there's one. Now we can go and add another one. And again, you know, it goes in the order that you enter it. Otherwise, you know, so you got to be careful with how you enter it. You know, how do you want to see the data come in on the order? And just gonna take a bit to update. Voice over. I, Voice does anybody over. know why on Mac this happens? I'm just holding down the control button and it just does that. I don't understand why. It drives me nuts. So there you go. One, two. So that is, it's really that easy. Now, there's a tool out there called uh, UI generator and it is by Shopify. I believe it's by Shopify. I'm not entirely certain, but it works great. There's different types of, of uh, line item properties you can add. You can do, I, I typically use text short. You can do radio buttons and you can do one. Uh, see how that, see how you can just kind of pick various options. So you can uh, allow people to pick various options. Now, if you guys want me to create a snippet that works with all of these and you use tags for that, um, you know, I can do that. I can make another video. Let me know in the comments below and we can make a more advanced one and that'll be available on our website, ecomgraduates.com. Also guys, make sure you join our group. And if possible, please, if, you, if this helped you in any way, shape or form, please drop a like, comment and subscribe. Uh, that way we know, you know, we're on the right track. We wanna keep making awesome videos like this, um, you know, where we can teach you how to add all these different features to your store. Um, you know, it, they, they really do help you out. They, they help you save money. Um, I know, I know uh, some of our, our past snippets are, you know, we are charging for those now. Like I said in previous videos, we usually release them for free for about, you know, a week. And then we, you know, add the price. And they're really cheap. It's like five. Some of them are $10. I mean, it's really, really affordable as, you know, coming from, you know, paying, you know, $10 a month for this app to add this ability. One time charge of, you know, five to $10, maybe 25. Um, that slide out cart that we're creating, that will cost more than most of them because it was a lot of work, but it's gonna add a lot of value to your store and it's gonna save you a ton of money on, you know, increased conversion rates and just not having to pay for an app. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, as always, just drop a comment below. If you need to email us, support at Ecom Graduates, you can. And uh, also join our Facebook group. All the links are in the description below as well as the file to this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys.